I'm not even really sure what I'm going to title this video just because of the nature of this video. And I always say um, in the beginning of just about all my videos that YouTube right, might remove this video um, just because of the content of this video. Things that today's hierarchies don't want us talking about information they don't want us putting out I'm somewhat of a rebel I hate feeling obligated to do anything when I feel obligated to do something or forced to do something or made to do something that's when I rebel the most if you tell me not to do it I'm going to do it. If you tell me I have to do it, I'm not going to do it. If you tell me not to do it, I'm going to do it just because you said I'm not supposed to do it. It's like wearing mask. I refuse to wear my mask. Now, I'll wear it if I go to certain places, maybe a handful of places I wear it. And of course, I get these odd looks. People just look at you like, well, your mask. Right. Because I know it's a placebo or if I wear it, I'll wear it down. That's my form of rebellion. I'm not covering my nose. I'm not blocking my own oxygen. That reminds me of Full Metal Jacket. Do you guys remember? Was it Full Metal Jacket? Full Metal Jacket where... The sergeant told the dude to choke himself. He said, choke yourself. <laughs> and he put his hand out there. He wanted the dude to take his own neck, put it in his hand so that he can choke him. This is the same thing that today's Democrats are doing. And some Republicans. They're, they're forcing people or making people feel that they're forced to wear these masks. They're making these people think that wearing these masks is going to slow the curve or prevent them from getting coronavirus. And it doesn't. Even Fachi himself in the very beginning came right out and told the truth that these masks are no good. They just only to make you feel good. There's no benefit behind wearing these masks. But yet we're made to feel like we have to do that. So anyway, I didn't make this video to talk about mask, but it's just interesting just sitting back observing all the things that's happening in this country alone. Things that I've never dreamed that would ever happen. Of course, we talked about it in the past. We were given revelation. You got to realize that the prophets of today are not like the prophets of old. So you can't expect a John the Baptist to come preach and repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Today, many of today's prophets are behind videos. In many cases, they are not even aware that they are prophets and that they are being used to proclaim a message or a warning because if you look at what's going on today these are things that we talked about in the past years ago we talked about that when people labeled us as conspiracy theorists when people said that we were crazy when people said that we were paranoid we talked about the things, the very things that we see happening today. We talked about these things and warned you and people refused to listen. It's like we warning you now. The message is coming from everywhere. They're warning black people about the Democrat Party. People are warning you. There are messengers that used to be Democrats that still consider themselves as Democrats warning you, but people fail to listen. They choose to ignore the prophets of today. 
those that warn you of impending dangers. Now, the Democrats are bold, more bold than ever, because before we used to talk about how the Democrat is the party of slavery, the party of Jim Crow, the party of exterminating black people, like Hillary Clinton said, and people, black people, failed to listen. They didn't believe us. And they still chose to follow the Democratic Party. I posted on Facebook that any black person that follow the Democrat Party are racist themselves. They are today's, the modern day KKK are black people. It's not white people. White people are no longer the enemy because this is a new breed of white people. Of course, these are what you perceive as the slave master's children, but they're different than yesterday's white people. These white people today are now fighting for Black Lives Matter. That's rare. That's not normal. And Black Lives Matter have been hijacked by white people. Some have good intentions. Some do it out of fear of being labeled as a racist. And then you have others that are just plain devils. They hijacked it. I just got done watching a video where a bunch of white people protested, violent protesters that they call peaceful. Just think of the language that they use today. They're now calling peaceful protests riots and riots are now considered peaceful protests. And they think that they can just walk up to somebody's car. Now, you know, and I'm skipping around because there's just so much craziness that's going on. They're talking about this white protester that went to a protest, a so-called peaceful protest with a firearm. And he got shot to death. Why? Because you had these protesters that's now programmed to believe they can just do anything to anybody and get away with it. You can't just walk up to cars. I've always been told from a child coming up and I'm 59 years old, soon to be 60 this year. And I've always been told to stay away from strange vehicles. We were taught that as a child. So you have all these protesters now walking up to these vehicles, running violently to these vehicles, pounding on these vehicles, not expecting any repercussions. So this dude walks up on a vehicle with a firearm. What did you expect that person in that car to do? The person was armed, legally carrying, and he shot the protester. And now this protester went out like he was some type of hero. But this is the energy of today. Now, it's interesting what's happening over in Portland. And I was just reading this article where it says that Oregon governor says U.S. agents will start leaving Portland. This is interesting to me because you have all of these violent people now are blaming the cops because the cops are doing their job. We now, they have the right to riot, which they refer to as peaceful protests, Burn mess up, burn up buildings, attack vehicles, and then when the when the federal cops do their job, now it's like you're not supposed to tear gas us. This is a this is a scripture in the Bible that says Babylon the Great is fallen and has become the habitation of devils, the hold of every foul. An unclean bird. That's America today. There's so much hatred. 
in this world. And you don't realize that many black folks don't realize they are on the wrong side. They're angry. They're bitter. They just got done killing this dude, man, that was that was preaching. He was supposed to have been a Hebrew Israelite. He's got a YouTube channel. But they killed this dude, man, just because of the fact that he was a Trump supporter. But they claim to be peaceful. So blacks have become the modern day KKK. Black people are killing their own children. Many of these children, since George Floyd, look at the number of death that occurred black on black. Look at the number of death of babies that were killed, that were caught up in the, in the line of fire of these violent protesters and black people. And you don't realize, and I'm telling you, man, it's going to come back on you. The Democrats, they don't even really talk about you anymore. But they're hijacked Black Lives Matter to get what they want. You had white dudes talking about Black Lives Matter, and then they had a horn, you know, bah, 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 Black Lives Matter. These are white people. The same white people that called you niggas. The same white people that their foreparents lynched you. And you forget that you listen to CNN, your mind is programmed and brainwashed. And you forget that same media that you listen to, that you believe, is the same media that had white people looking at you like you look at Donald Trump. There was a time when the media put black people out there, especially black men. We were now the villain. And that same media now has got you responding like white people used to respond regarding you. That's how they got you looking at Trump and Trump supporters because they have an agenda to destroy you. Remember what happened back in slavery? And I've always said in videos of the past that if you... If you don't know your history, you're bound to repeat it. And I made a video that was on that Fearless 2005 channel that I deleted when I said that black people are going back into captivity. Joe Biden was correct. He said they're going to put y'all back in chains. See? And see, you thought that he was referring to the Republicans. No, the Democrats are going to put y'all back in chains. Because notice... With these stimulus package, everybody's talking about these stimulus packages. But you know who, who the Democrats are fighting for? Not black people. They're fighting to get undocumented, illegal immigrants, criminals, stimulus packages. Look at what you have to present to prove your residency here, your citizenship. But yet they break into the country... Now, the Democrats are now fighting hard, teeth and nails, for these illegal immigrants. They want to supply them with health care, lodging, money, food. They want to clothe them with everything that you were supposed to get. They don't even want to give you reparations. The Democrats. And it has come out this there's like a congressman, I believe he is, that just put out that um, he put a bill which is not going to go anywhere. But it's good that he put it out there that Democrats are the ones that's responsible for slavery. He's saying that the Democrat Party should be banned because of their support of slavery and the Jim Crow, uh, the Jim Crow era. That was the Democrats that did that. But they got y'all pulling down statues. They redirected your attention to statues. Inanimate objects that's doing you no harm at all. You're talking about the racism that these statues have done or these statues represent. They got you attacking a Confederate flag 
that has done no harm to you. But the real enemy is the Democrat Party that got you worshiping and fighting for them and protesting for them. Once they get what they want, if Trump does not get a second term, you can kiss your behind goodbye. What we know as America now is gone. It's no more. This now has become a downhill spiral. We're spiraling downhill from this point on. The only thing that's really saving us now is Trump. Whether you like it or not. Whether you want to acknowledge that or not. But if the Democrats get in the office, you think Joe Biden is going to be president? No. Nancy Pelosi had already put out there that she was second in line for presidency. See, so Nancy Pelosi will become your president. They want the House and the Senate and presidency. This is what these wicked people want. And if they get that, black people kiss your behinds goodbye and you can't complain about nothing because you did it yourself. You rocked yourself to sleep. You allow the Democrat Party to get inside your head. The same party that enslaved you, that enslaved your ancestors. And now that's keeping racism, systematic racism alive and well. Now, Black Lives Matter is being controlled by white people. You may see a few sprinkles of black people out there, but these are like, this is Antifa. It exchanged hands. And black people are about to be destroyed. I'm going to tell you. And again, you two more than likely will remove this video. That's okay, though. I don't care. I really don't care. But I'm going to tell you something and mark my word on this. Mark my word. Black people are about to be destroyed. And I'm not talking about just black on black. If you notice, they got black people just like the slave trade. How they had Africans that sold black people to the slave catchers were also there to help catch slaves. You have black people now, so-called black people, that's with the Democrat Party. And that's why Joe Biden talking about getting the black female as his running partner, as his running mate. He wants Kamala Harris. She's got ties. Her family got ties to slavery. They own slaves. She's got a slave mentality. A slave owner's mentality. Look at how many black people she incarcerated, she put away. And this is who Joe Biden wants to be.